All right, guys, I'm about to cut a big hole in the dash. guys so i was looking at putting a boost gauge right there but i really don't like the way that gauge pod looks um and eventually i was going to do something different anyways uh and as i started looking around routing i noticed if you pull off that and this you can actually get in here to this there's a pretty big hole right here, which is right about there. I think would be a good spot for the gauge. And then you got, you can wire it right here to the fuse box, run your lines through. It's just really risky <laughs> cutting into the dash right here. Like this is just the underpiece. This is just the top piece, which is pretty large, but that's the actual center part of the dash that holds everything together. So if you mess this up, you're kind of screwed. That's a really big portion to have to buy or do something else. But I'm gonna try to drill a hole in it and not make it look terrible. Okay, so what I've got on here is a hole saw and this one is two and an eighth. Uh, this is for doorknobs. Uh, this is what I had, um, which is a little bit big but I'm planning on uh, not using the mounting bracket in behind there and just wrapping tape so I can pull the gauge in and out. And later on, we'll get a, a fancier gauge than this one, which is just real simple. Um, but I think this is gonna work and uh, we can get it cleaned up. I've seen some other little bezels and stuff you can put around it too, uh, which kind of clean it up uh, a little bit nicer than that. So I may look for one of those also, but we'll see how it goes. Right, guys, you can see I've pretty much completely messed that up. Because the steering wheel, I thought I could get in there good enough, but it caught and grabbed and ran down, so that sucks. Um, I think I might be able to sand some of this down. You won't be able to see it, but I may have to at least replace this, which is pretty simple. But that, again, is not so simple, but hopefully we can make it look as good as we can. I've kind of got a rough outline about where the thing needs to go and i'm gonna use a little handheld one see if i can make it look better anyways all right guys the initial hole is cut and now i just need to clean it up and make sure the gauge can fit in it and try to clean that up so we keep going see what we can make this thing look like there's the hole it's fairly round you can tell it's an oblong hole because it's obviously going on a little, little bit of a curved surface. Um, but I got it cleaned up. I put the little round file on there and just kept working at it, working at it. Uh, and I was able to, where this is kind of aided up, I was able to hit this just a little bit. That's still a little messed up, but um, it seemed like it kind of heated it up and folded the pieces back down and kind of smoothed it out. So hopefully I can um, work on that a little bit more and make that a little less you know less visible at least here which is already looks a lot better because i can buy this piece if i need to but this piece i can buy but i don't want to buy <laughs> so but here's the gauge and it's at the point where it's actually super tight um by itself but you can pop it in there and it actually goes on in but uh it's real nice and tight, so that's probably a good thing. But that looks pretty good. 
Uh, like I said, later on, I'll probably get a black gauge that matches a little bit better, but it, it, it definitely looks good with them flush like this. It uh, definitely looks better. Um, I'm going to heat it with a heat gun next time I go to the shop. It actually it shows up more in this camera because it's brightening up than it does in person. Um, but that uh, really sucks, but hopefully get some heat on there, and I think it'll actually blend it better. I just don't have a heat gun here, so we'll try that next time we get over to the shop. So next part is installing the gauge. You know, the other thing I could do is wrap this with some fabric or flock it or whatever, just, you know, this section, maybe that one over there. So, but installing the gauge is super easy. That's a mechanical boost gauge. So it just has a boost vacuum pressure here from the intake. And then you've got a light in it that needs to come on either all the time or with the lights. So, um, that's, that's pretty much it on that. Okay. Gauge is wired up. Got it set in place and it really looks pretty good um, besides the dash. Um, but let's uh, finish up with our hose here. I can find the other little piece. We'll get her connected out at the engine. All right guys, so here is my boost line and you really just wanna pull somewhere off of the intake. This is a fine spot right here. So I'm just gonna loop it in through here or you could hook it up here it depends on how big your line is so but this should work we got a pretty small line here all right guys let's see if it works lights work vacuum works Alright guys, it's been warming up for a little while, so now and then drops down to, to like, you know, 11.6 or something like that when it gets full boost. But <laughs> right then, when I first got on it, before I started filming, it was going like 14, 15 pounds because it was just cold. So we'll see what it does this time. Alright guys, 
but it's gotten dark now and it's now and uh gauge looks pretty good it's blue with a red needle and matches pretty good to the stock gauges i think i think that looks looks pretty good it's not too bad so there we go that's it uh appreciate y'all guys watching uh don't make the same mistake that i did like i said i tried that that uh whole saw first and um it looked like it would work but it was just too much of an angle and it gripped and hit the dash so i'm gonna work on that some more but overall it, it turned out pretty good so we'll see what happens and uh, go from there but i really appreciate y'all watching so thanks